Now, I've been asked about adjusting the air on an oil burn. Well, I'm going to show you where these adjustments are. And by the way, before anybody starts griping about the piping on this thing, this is not an install heating appliance. This is a test mule. So there's two air adjustments on these Becky burners. And the Becky burner is the only thing I've got, so it's the only one I can show you on. There's a mass air damper right here. Now that mass air damper is almost always going to be closed. You want to be able to see the blocked off part of the burner there. This should not be open at all unless you've got a really big nozzle in this thing. The adjustment you're going to use is here. Now, you, you can see there's some numbers there and there's a pointer. I don't pay a lot of attention to that. It's not real important because the amount of air you put in here depends on the nozzle you have in the system. Another little tip here. You should probably be taking some sort of brush and cleaning off these slots before you start out uh, to make sure that your adjustment is more accurate. This is a 5 16 screw. You just loosen it and you adjust it. I don't recommend you just adjust these things willy-nilly. You really have to use some intelligence here when you're deciding to adjust these burners because if you get the air off even a small amount it can have pretty drastic effects on the flame. Too little air you're going to set this thing up and you're going to get a puff back out of it and you're going to love the puff back that's going to fill your house full of smoke. More commonly too much air which cools the flame and when it cools the flame it's not very hot and you lose efficiency. So I don't really recommend you adjust these unless you know what you're doing. If you want, I guess you can. It's up to you. I'm here to tell you how they're done. But uh, obviously, this thing here is going to give you more or less air into the fire. If you turn it down this way, it gives more air. Turn it up this way, it gives less. So that's how to adjust air into the uh, Beckett burner. I have some other videos about how much air it should have and so on like that and maybe explain a little better uh, how to adjust it if you do want to adjust it uh, and I'll link these at the end of this video. So that's it on this one.